Does tea have any benefit in my journey? Let's find out on this next podcast of Digest This. Welcome to Digest This, the show that helps you revolutionize your digestive health. Here are your hosts, Dr. Liz Cruz and Tina Nunziato. Hello and welcome to Digest This. I'm Dr. Liz Cruz and I've got Tina Nunziato sitting right here by my side. For those of you watching us on YouTube, you can see this beautiful face here. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are a first time listener, welcome. We're so happy you're with us. If you're one of our regular listeners, welcome, and we love you and appreciate that you have been on this journey with us. So those of you that are first time listeners, we are on a series that we started in January um, in regards to my journey on my lymph nodes. I had a CAT scan back in uh, September last year that showed some enlargement of some of my lymph nodes in the groin area and going up the abdomen. Um, And so we've been talking about my journey and some of the different modalities and things that I've been doing to to try to be healthier and, uh, and to take care of myself because the reality is that I wasn't taking care of myself. Um, I mean, I would like to think I was taking care of everybody else, but really, I think that's what happens. I think most providers are, are pretty bad about taking care of themselves. Yeah. And, uh, so it caught up with me. And, uh, so anyways, it's all good. You know, we, we push on and, and, um, uh, we've, I've learned a lot in the last year. And so I've been just sharing uh, some of the things that I've been doing, and I hope that this has been helpful to a lot of you. So please, if you're a first time listener, go back to the beginning of this particular series in January um, and listen to the beginning. It was the the first podcast in January, and uh, but we do have hundreds of podcasts in our library because we've been podcasting now for several years years, yeah Yeah, a few years so we have a ton of different podcasts you can go and check out in our library it's like pretty awesome (laughs) all right so today that we'd uh, talk a little bit about teas um so i you know i i basically checked out pretty much everything and actually about a week ago or two weeks ago (laughs) tina found uh some powders that I had that I had bought and uh you know I wasn't trying to hide them I just hadn't I just hadn't shared it I was looking through the cabinet for something and I was and I found a section of the cabinet and I was like where what in the world is all of this (laughs) when did this get here yes so in that cabinet that actually somehow has become my cabinet yes in the kitchen and that's where I have all these um different powders and concoctions and potions. So it's a lot of good stuff in there. But one of the things that I became intrigued with was tea. All right, teas. Now I've never been a tea drinker. Um, I've, it's not, you know, I've tried drinking tea throughout the years here and there, but I just, I just couldn't get into it. I mean, it wasn't my thing. Coffee was my thing. Well, which is the reason why you started looking at tea. Right. Because you were trying to get off coffee. Exactly. And you were like, oh, maybe I can do tea. And then you started reading about tea and buying tea. That's right. I even bought a book about tea. And I I I bought you a shirt about tea. She brought me a shirt about tea. (laughs) Like everything was about tea. You were pretty much into tea. There was a lot of things I was really into. But yes, I was really into teas. So, So look. Um, teas are made from plants. Okay. And plants, I mean, plants, especially green plants have like their own immune system. All right. So, so just to keep it, we're going to keep it, I'm going to keep it really simple, but basically teas have great, great benefit, great, um, health benefits. Okay. Especially, um, certain teas that are really high in antioxidant. Okay. For example, and I'm sure that most or all of you have heard of green teas. All right. Green teas. I mean, that's a very common tea. Um, so I, anyways, I have my whole, I have a she little collection. Here. <laughs> so again, if you're not watching this one and you're listening to it, if you ever get a chance to go watch, yes. You can see her. Yes. So um, this is green tea. Okay. And I actually bought this at an Asian store. That's right. Green tea. Like, good thing it says green tea because I really wouldn't be able to read it. But this is literally like 
I mean, this is sealed up, okay, just to maintain the freshness as much as possible. And it is literally like the teas that, you know, dried up um, in, like the, these are leaves. And I got to tell you, so when I would put this into the diffuser, into my little bottle of tea, because of course I had a tea bottle with a diffuser. And when I would load up the little basket with these, like very quickly over a few minutes, these teas would, I mean, these leaves would uncurl. And it was pretty amazing because I would um, steep it and then I'd open it up and I literally would pull out some of these leaves because look, it just, it's all curled up. You know, it's all, all curled up. But when it, it, when it opens up, like it's literally a leaf. And I was like, oh my goodness. Okay, so it's literally a leaf full of antioxidant, full of antioxidant and, and, and actually very good for you. Um, you know, I mean, just really great for you because our body is constantly making um, free radicals, which is not good, okay? Because those free radicals attack the cells, um, you know, you, I mean, it, it's, it, it is a setup for, for developing cancer. So these are, and you know, huge, um, a lot of antioxidants in these, in this green tea. Uh, this is another, another tea. This one is called puree, puree, and I may not be saying it correctly, but, um, again, this, I bought it at the Asian store and these leaves, oh, sorry. These are actually like black. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you work on that. Demonstrate. Yeah. So yeah, they're actually black and it's really fascinating. You know, the different things, I don't know if you could see that, but yeah, they're black. So I, I you know, it's really fascinating, like how they grow these tea, these plants that will ultimately go to become, you know, that they'll, that will be used for tea, how they grow them and how depending on where they are, like if there's a lot of shade that, that hits them or sun, like all of that, all of that impacts on, on the strength of the tea, the, the strength of the antioxidant, um, the act antioxidant potential in the tea. So it's really fascinating. I mean, then you have Earl Grey, Earl Grey, which is a very common tea. Okay. Um, and, and which also is in this family of teas that I'm talking about right now, you know, very full of antioxidants. Um, and then you have other teas that are made from mushrooms. Okay. This is called Ash, Ashwagandha, which I believe is a mushroom because there are, there are mushrooms out there that have um, medicinal potential. Okay. So, so I also learned about those. Um, and then you got the herbal ones that are made from, um, you know, like flowers and, and even from like, this one is hibiscus and beet ginger. Okay. Again, very healthy for you. Um, this one is another mushroom one. This is the reishi mushroom. Reishi mushroom it also has some, some cocoa in it. Um, this, this here, so this is in a very little container because this is very potent stuff. This is very potent stuff. This is called um, matcha, okay? This is organic green tea, which is probably the highest. The in, and Yeah, the highest, the ultimate in antioxidant. And apparently the one that comes from Japan um, is is touted as being like one of the best and you want to make sure that it's certified organic. Um, but this one, like there's actually ceremonies that are done in ma for making this. And, and yes, I even got the bowl for the ceremony. <laughs> I even got the bowl. I, I hope you're watching this on YouTube so that you could see my show and tell. <laughs> Okay. And your wife's uh, facial expressions. That's right. My wife's facial expressions. Okay. Yes. But this is just a small content. You know, they included this little bamboo um, scooper to scoop out a small amount. You have water in here and then you put it in there and then you, you mix it up and for a certain amount of time and it can become frothy. You know, you can get like matcha lattes you can do like i mean there's all sorts of different things of matcha but matcha is really one of the ultimate as far as uh, the anti uh, antioxidant content and um like really good for you really good so i did teas for about two months why did i stop 
Now let's talk about that. <laughs> why did I stop? Let's talk about why all these are still only half full. That's right. Okay. Well, because one of the things that I was trying to do was minimize the amount of caffeine that I put into my body because of my lymph nodes. Okay. And so, so look, I love coffee. Um, and I was drinking a lot of coffee. And so that's one of the things that I eliminated and, uh, and for a couple reasons, number one, because of the caffeine, um, number two, because I was putting creamer, like I don't put sugar in my coffee, but I put like, I was putting like a coconut organic coconut creamer. But even that at the end of, you know, once I was done, like, Tina always inspected it when it was in the sink and said that there was sediment at the bottom of the cup, which I would see and I just kind of ignored because I was like, well, it's organic coconut creamer, so it must be good. Um, but, you know, her concern, which I totally agree with is, okay, there is all this sediment at the bottom of this coffee mug. And so, oils. And it oils. Was, it, was it was like, like a this, mix of... Yeah. of I don't know. It just didn't look healthy. It didn't look good. And so she was like, you know, this really concerns me that you're putting this in your body. So anyways, one of the things with these teas is that they do have caffeine. All right. They do have caffeine. A lot of caffeine. Yeah. They have caffeine. I mean, I don't think they have as much as coffee. Okay. But they still have caffeine. And so because I was just trying to be as pure as possible as I could, I felt like, okay, well, on one side, I'm getting great antioxidants from these teas, you know, from because of, they're made from plants. Um, but on the other hand, I'm getting all that caffeine. All right. Now, I think that caffeine has a lot of mixed reviews out there. But the reality is, I mean, it is a stimulant. Um, and there is, there is some... I've read some literature where it could potentially cause some swelling of the lymph nodes. Um, and, and then I've read others where, no, it's fine. You know, and of course I always hang to the one that says, oh, it's fine. And I'm like, look, honey, look at this study. Caffeine doesn't affect the lymph nodes. So I don't know what the real answer is. However, if there's any, th any doubt in my right. mind or any chance or any that chance affect. that it could, I decided that I needed, I was just going to eliminate it. Right. You're going to, you're going to be on the side of caution. Exactly. In that situation. Now I know that you may be thinking if you've been listening to my podcast, well, Dr. Cruz, there is some caffeine in that organic coffee that you're using for the coffee enemas. And yes, except that I'm not drinking it. It's going through another end of me. Um, and, uh, and, and because <clears throat> of the fact that it is aiding in helping to, to detoxify my liver, I have, I have taken the chance on that with that, but I felt that I couldn't be taking tea or coffee and doing the coffee enemas. So I decided I had to choose and I actually went with the coffee enemas. Um, and uh, so but I think we've also read a lot about how your body processes that caffeine. Yeah, it's actually processed than differently. When it's ingested. Exactly. So it's exactly. Not the same, it's not the same stimulation. Yeah, it's a it, it is different. So yeah. so that's why I let off on the on the teas after my wife had bought me this really nice matcha kit for Christmas so that I could have my own little ceremonies to this day. I haven't done a ceremony because by that time I was already like coming off the teas and I have lots of tea. So if any of you want to come over and have tea, <laughs> just let us know and yeah. we'll invite you over for tea, <laughs> tea and crumpets. <laughs> so anyways, um, thank you so much for listening and uh, we will catch you on the next podcast. Thank you for joining Dr. Liz Cruz and Tina Nunziato. To learn more about their revolutionary products and services, go online to www.drlizcruz.com.